In this video, we will start to bring a Houdini scene into RPR using a stage network node tree. As most seasoned Houdini users know, Houdini's process is a bit more node-based than other programs. Having a proper node tree is imperative to make sure your work looks as good as Houdini can offer. So how do we go about creating and rendering a scene in Houdini for RPR? Here in my object network, I've made a snowy mountain range. I want to see it in RPR. So first, I will go to the stage network level, switch my viewport perspective to RPR, and bring in that cliff geometry to set in our scene. As I have demonstrated in the last video, you can easily set up objects directly in the stage level or a LOP network. But if you have been using another network to build your geometry, like me, you can import that geometry into the stage using one of these nodes. A SOP import node or a scene import node. These nodes can import geometry into the active level so it can be modified by other LOPS nodes connected to their output. I will also lay down a merge node so you can see the import node effects at the same time. So first, a SOP import node imports geometry from a SOP or surface operator network into a stage or LOP network. First select the node, and in the parameters, set load as reference after finding the SOP path. Open the operator chooser, and select the geometry you want. There's our mountain. Next, the scene import node is somewhat similar but can also import models, materials, and lights from the object level into the stage. First, select the node, and in the parameters, go to Object, open the Operator Chooser, and select the geometry you want. I'll choose the same geometry from before. And there's a mountain again. Next, we'll add some lighting. Much like for objects, you can add lights directly in the stage network scene, or you can import pre-existing lights you've set up in the object network using the scene import lights node. I'm going to add a distant light node directly to my stage. You can add a light node in the node display, like so. Or, you can hold control and left click on a light in your light shelf to create a light using the current view in your viewport. Well, our viewport doesn't seem to like that order very much, so let's fix that. There we go. I do prefer the other distant light a bit more though, so let's remove this one. Great. Also, if you have any issues with your viewport, you can always select the Restart Render option in the Perspective menu to reset your image. Great. As of this recording, the supported lights for RPR are Dome Light, Distant Light, Point Light, Spotlight, IES Light, Sphere Light, Disk Light, Rectangular Light, and Cylinder Light. In the next video, we'll set up our camera. 